our GMA Outlander Week. Together with our sponsor, Stars, we are taking a deeper look at the TV show that started with a series of books and has now grown into a drama that has been translated into nine different languages. It is an inspiring fans all over the world to flock to Scotland and experience the land where the show is filmed. It's the phenomenon called Outlander, a genre-defying novel series turned binge-worthy television show. We were up all weekend watching because we couldn't And then stop. I've read every single book. Dedicated fans flocking to Comic-Con in New York to catch a glimpse of the cast. Outlander! After four seasons and 30 million books sold, it has created a level of fandom that author Diana Gabaldone says she could have never imagined. You wrote the first Outlander mm -hmm. as practice. I did. My thoughts when I began writing were, nobody's ever going to see it, I didn't do anything. And therefore, that's why it has so many weird things in it. I never expected anyone to read it. Where I am right now, which is in the very finishing stages of the ninth book, it's very, very exciting because this is the stage where I know everything that's happening. <laughs> okay, here's the story. In 1940. In 1946, British nurse Claire Randall goes to Scotland with her husband. She comes upon a circle of stones, which transports her back to the year 1743. She's then taken in with a group of Scottish Highlanders who, for her safety, force her to marry young Jamie Fraser. I know, poor Claire. She falls in love with him, and the conflict of time, love, and changing history begins. It's a wild story, right? Well, wild enough to get more than five million people watching every week and wild enough to give Scotland a huge bump in tourism, especially in a place like this. This is Falkland. It doubles as the town of Inverness, where our story begins and where we meet our hero, Claire. People are seeing Scotland in the series, the fantastic scenery, the landscapes, which really embodies the whole spirit of Outlander. It's got a real starring role in the show, so people are seeing that and being really inspired to come and visit here. Teaming up with our sponsor, Stars, I took a whirlwind tour of some of the locations featured in the show. Places like Hopeton House. Hopeton behind me here is used in all four seasons for different places. Like the Hellwater Estate in season three. And inside Hopeton House, this red room may look familiar. It's where the Duke of Sandrium meets with Claire. To turn against one's friend is no easy thing. The iconic Castle Leoch, it's actually called Dune Castle. And it happens to be one of the greatest preserved halls in all of Scotland. But this is really where the heart of the story, at least early on, takes place. There it is, Alibrach. This is Jamie's family home, Lollybrook. I was so excited to come here, but in real life, this is called Mid Hope Castle. And if you wanted to go inside, you can't. The place is so old, it's in ruins. Take me home to Lollybrook. But what about those famous stones? So while there are circles of stones throughout Scotland, the actual outlander stones that we've come to love aren't stones, but they are handcrafted by the Outlander team. And we met Outlander fans everywhere. I've been looking for Jamie all over Scotland. So that's enough. You're ready to go home. I would go back in a heartbeat. That was so much fun. And if you can't get enough Outlander, you can tune into GMA tomorrow. We are going to go behind the scenes with the whole cast from the set. And of course, season five of Outlander premieres Sunday on Stars. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.